Today I am in Warman, Saskatchewan at the Warman Thrift Shop. So I am hoping that they have stocked their shelves. So let's go in and see what I can find to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. or possibly keep for myself. Tags, half price, blue tag clothing and linens, one dollar, except outerwear, half price. Okie dokie. May 19th, 2021. Oh, that's pretty cute. Some fish dishes. 50 cents. Oh, they're plastic. I thought they were glass. What are these? Those are modern. Little plates and cups. There's a cute little teapot. Two dollars. Just a single teapot. Really tiny and really lightweight. It's a pottery creamer. Signed. It's just the creamer. That's only 50 cents. Nice stoneware piece. A little bit of Tupperware. I just recently sold this set for a really good price. This one's only 50 cents, but there is a lot of wear, a lot of scratches on it. So I'll leave that one. These are souvenir pieces from Mexico. Here's some marble pieces of photo folders. Those are really nice. Oh, I do have several of these in my shop. Well, not this exact style, but for $2, I'll grab these. They look like they're in nice condition. It's an interesting vase here. Looks more modern. It's very interesting looking. Glassware collection. Um, hmm, it's really heavy. I don't know. I might come back to that and look it up, but I think it is a little bit too modern. Not too much in the art and frames here. The shelves do look a little bare. Sense. It's pretty. Nice color. Oh, that is a, a light shade. Some. Oh, 
seven dollars. Cute little owls. Oh, that's a cute little little trinket dish jar. A dollar. The butterfly. I think this butterfly was added after. It's really sweet. Brass napkin holders. Pocket change, 50 cents. Hmm. Oh, 50 cents, I might as well grab it. These are pretty. It's a nice box. Not sure what these are for chopsticks, maybe? Oops. Let me know what these are. I'm assuming they're for chopsticks, but I do not know for sure. Interesting. Oops, that is a heavy cast iron. What is it? It's really heavy. A rustic holder for your mail, better than a hook or nail. <laughs> chocolate box or tin. Some dishes. There's some Corel butterfly gold print. I use these dishes in my own decor. I don't need any more. glass just one that is Libby I would grab these if there was a set Too much in the glassware. This is a modern piece. These are interesting. I don't know how old they are, and I'm not sure if they're all the same picture of the sheep. 
They almost have an Andy Warhol look to them. I'm gonna grab them for a dollar. So I'm curious about these. Here's a vintage cookie press in the original box. It looks like all the pieces are here. I think that's just an added piece, but I think all the pieces are here. Well, maybe not, because they would have been... I think these little silver pieces would have been in here. So I think it is missing a couple of them. It's only two dollars. I think I will grab it, especially since it has its original box, which is really fun. bit of home decor over here. Just one brass candlestick holder. Not too much in here today. Here's a macrame piece for a dollar and that's a frog I think. Well that's really fun. Look at his big eyes. Looks like it's in nice condition. So grab that for a dollar. This piece is kind of interesting. Five dollars. I don't think it has a lot of age though. Little unicorns. They're bisque and quite dirty. Dusty. this super cute Roxy jacket. It is a kind of a canvas material with buckles and it says it's $18 but I think it might be half price. So I'm going to pick it up for myself. My total was $25. The jacket was not half price so most of that was the jacket for $18. So I didn't find a whole lot in there, but I did find some good items, very reasonably priced. So I should be able to make a little bit of profit from those items. And they have one other thrift shop in this town. It is quite a bit smaller. So I'm not anticipating finding a whole lot there. I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more to this video or if we are going to go right to the hall. But let's go over there and see if I can find anything. And if I find anything, I will definitely add it into this video. And it is called Ideal to You. So that is my next stop. Shopping cart. Those are plastic. Thought maybe they were marble. Oh, look at these tiny little cups. <laughs> they look like they're for a child's tea set. 
maybe they're demi toss. Pretty tiny. Really, really thin horse one. So I'm not seeing a whole lot in here. It's not too terribly much on the shelves. I did, however, look through the clothes and I found these pants and they are just cozy brand and they're lined on the inside, really warm and soft. I have several pairs of these and I wear them all the time at home. They're really comfortable and warm. So I'm gonna grab these for myself, but I'm not really seeing anything else here. So I think I'm gonna head out. Here on my table is everything that I got from the MCC thrift shop in Warman. And I'll start with these coasters. I paid $1 for them. They were made in New Zealand. It says New Zealand on them. They are pop art sheep coasters. There's six of them here. They have a very Andy Warhol look to them. This one's got a little bit of staining on it. They're really fun coasters. And I saw someone had three playing cards from a deck of cards, just three of them, listed for $8 for three cards. <laughs> so I'm gonna list these coasters for around, probably about 18 to $22 for the set of six. And these were $2 in a bag. They are soapstone tea light holders or votive holders. I guess you would need an insert if you're gonna use a votive. So a tea light would probably be better. They're all in really nice condition. A little bit of chipping on this one. So I'm gonna list these all in one listing, but individually so the buyer can buy one tea light or they can buy two three or four and i'm going to list them for about ten to twelve dollars each this stoneware handcrafted artisan pottery creamer was 50 cents it is marked there with a signature that i have not been able to make out yet i just got home and I really need to get through this haul quickly because I need to put this video out for tomorrow. So I haven't really done a whole lot of research or looking up signatures. So I'm not really sure what that says, but it's a nicely made stoneware pottery creamer. And I'll list this in my Etsy shop for around 18 to $22. This was a really good score. It is a 1950s cookie press and cake de decorator set. It was $2 in the original box. It is 19 pieces, but it is missing two pieces. I thought it was missing a couple more, but two of these were on this piece here. So when I took it apart, there was two of them stuck together. So it is missing two pieces and it would have had a little cookbook with it as well. I saw one of these that had recently sold in December on eBay for $56 Canadian. So that would be around 42 American. And it was a complete set, never been used. The box was in a, about in the same condition. So I'm gonna probably list this one for around 48 to 52 Canadian. And this piece was 50 cents. It's just brass and enamel. Kind of looks like cloisonne. And it's just a little pocket change tray. So I will list this for around 15 to $18. This macrame owl was $1. Grab 
great price. It's got ceramic eyes, very large ceramic eyes. This is very 1970s. And it's really well done. And I sold one of these very similar. It was green, a little bit smaller. The eyes weren't quite as elaborate as these ones. They were just plain white wooden beads. So this one's a little bit more fancier than the green one that I sold. And I sold that one for $72 with shipping included. So I'm gonna list this one for around $48 to $52. And then I just got this sweater. It is just a Joe Fresh sweater, nothing fancy. And I think it was $3. Blue tags, I believe were half price. And it's just super warm and soft and cozy. And I don't really care about name brands. As long as it fits me and it's comfortable, I will wear it. And then this is a Roxy jacket. And you're gonna see me wearing this in the video. Fits really nice. I really like the style, kind of a military style. I really like that. And it was $18. Roxy is a pretty good brand. There's a little rip there, but that's okay. This might be vintage Roxy. Roxy was very popular in the 90s and early 2000s so I don't know if it's vintage or not but I really like it it fits me really nice and it's a bit of a lighter jacket for the warmer winter days so that was everything that I got from the MCC thrift shop in Warman my total was $25 and that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.